in this video I'm going to show you how you can use div element um, and use that in your CSS rules in the previous uh, one of the previous lectures I think I talked about div element it's a block element that means uh, the co content in the div tag would be put in a new line and there will be a new line after the content too so the content in the div element starts in a uh, new line so the purpose of the div tag which stands for division is to set aside or name a portion of your HTML content so that you can use that name to format or reference it in other spaces so so you will define an area within the web page using the div tag so in here you can see that uh, you are using a div tag with a name like footer and you can use that in your style sheet so when you refer uh, dot footer it say it it is referencing to this area so let's see how we can use div tag to um, div tag in your CSS rules so I'm going to go back to my um, HTML page um, even in the previous one I added some uh, lines to it now what I'm going to do is I want to create an area and set aside that using a div tag I'm going to create a div tag and I'm going to call it uh, class equals um, you know uh, H uh, you know it's a head heading so I'm just going to say heading tag. since we there are a lot of heading tags I'm just going to call it heading all right and I'm going to make this area at the end of that div tag so this would be my heading one or just the heading now uh, if you would like I can apply some styling to it so I'm going to save this make sure that you have the closing tag all right and then I'm going to go to my style sheet okay and I can say dot heading uh, this is something I was testing before just ignore that okay heading and I want that area's background color to be something different maybe green okay so what I did was I used my use the div tag name a specific area or set aside a specific area in the in your in the HTML page I am going to apply a style to it so I'm going to go ahead and see uh, what it does so it set aside the area where I have that div uh, to that background color if I go back I think I it went all the way here so I need to figure out what's going on here uh, one thing I can see here is uh, let me save that and go back and I had that h1 tag space so that's why it didn't apply to the specific area anyway um, so you have this section where you have two h2 my name is Anu I live in Cincinnati and I applied a, a green background to it if I can if I want I can go ahead and maybe um, apply this the same um, styling here so I would say div and class equals heading if I want to make it into a group of uh, you know div tag maybe these two c2 tags I'm going to include in my div tag so what you would see is um, since I have the heading um, you know whatever the section that is called heading to be green background you, I teach programming all these uh, two lines will also have the uh, the have the green uh, background so let me save this go ahead and see how it changes so it will have so div you can name the class uh, you can name it as a class 
and you can uh, set aside multiple pages let me see how you can use id here id is only for a specific area so if i call it um, id uh, you know id we need to have a different i'm just going to call it fed okay if i have to use that uh, all uh, let me go ahead uh, okay i'm going to say that um, head and i'm going to say background color uh, blue so that's how you you use div tag and uh, make it an id as i mentioned before of course i should have had a better um, font color so maybe i should make the color to be white so i can see the content in there so here you'll have a uh, content there so you can use div tag to set uh, to break your html page into different sections you can use the class or you can use the id the next thing that i want to talk about is um, contextual uh, um, styling So using a CSS contextual selector, okay, here you have an ID and you are saying that everything in that ID area should be color of this one. In here you are saying that within that ID footer, there is a tag, an anchor tag and may apply this specific uh, styling to it. So I'm going to go here and in my ID head, I have say an href here. So here, I'm going to go ahead and say that in this ID, uh, make this to a different color. By default, in many browsers, the 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 coloring is green, uh, blue. The link appears in blue. So I want to change that to something else. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the contextual uh, styling. That means. I would say that in the head, in the head ID, I have an anchor tag and I want to make it, maybe I'm going to change its background color, background color to uh, background color to green. All right, so this is the contextual uh, selector. So this is the uh, tag selector. This is the class selector. This is the ID selector. This one is the ID selector, and this is the contextual selector. Within an ID or class, you are specifying a specific area or a tag. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to um, see how it got applied. So it that specific context as the green background that is the contextual um, uh, selector the next tag i want to talk about is the span tag span is an inline um, element that means even within a div tag or any other tag um, you can set aside some space some area and call it span the good uh, the advantage of span is that it will put the content in the same line. So if you want to make some specific changes to your uh, one, maybe a one word or a couple of word within a paragraph, if you put div tag to separate them, it will go into the next line. If you don't need that, then you have to use the span. So span is an inline level element. Um, so you can sp format a specific area within a line. So there won't, there is no break before or after the span so here uh, you you have a span element okay and then here you are saying that uh, the span company name it should have a specific you know font uh, should be font weight should be bold and font size and things like that so that is the span so let's go ahead and um, uh, do an example on span so if I want to make, say, University of Cincinnati to be, you know, standing out, 
I can put a span here and say that ID equals um, UC. Okay. And I'm putting that in span. End of span. All right. So if I want to apply some specific um, styling to it, um, I can go ahead and use this. So if I go here and uh, say that dot uh, like hash you see um, font weight like bold okay you can see that it will be in um, bold it will be in bold, bold color for you know study uh, it's already an h1 tag it's already bolded so maybe I will apply uh, something else Uh, let me see that's an actual value. Maybe italics. You need to you know look at all the different uh, uh, maybe I will save it. It has to be the exact name. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just put the the, the background color. So you see one to see. Um, white. All right. So in that specific area, and where I say University of Cincinnati, it put the put the white background. So uh, what it is, you have an area uh, set aside using a span. It, it goes in line. So it, the University of Cincinnati, it's not going to a new line. If you had put div there it would have gone to the new line. So that's the difference between div and span tag and that is how. One thing I want to let you know that anything that you put there, you can might as well put here. You can have the pound footer, you know, every pound, uh, you see all the things here. Um, it's not just, you know, you can put all these in a CSS file. You can put that in the external styling also. Once you have your CSS file, I recommend you to validate that so you would see if there is any problems in formatting. And then please check out some CSS troubleshooting tips in your textbook.